Out of nowhere, the phone just blew. Hey everyone, this is Kiyash coming at you today with another video, honey. As you can see from the title, darling, this is a Kiyash Chronicle. This is actually my second top, second top Kiyash Chronicle. The first one I did, lovely, beautiful, I'm amazing. I thought I was serving it. And when I go to edit, honey, I was blurry. Honey, I was statically blurry, darling. I was non-existent. I was uh, invisible. Honey, I was so blurry, you could not see where I was at, oh, honey. No. Horrible. You know, you must have, you know, really enjoyed, honey. Enjoyed what I was giving, darling. You must have really indulged in the activities of Kiyash Pond, honey. You, I gave you a warning. I gave you every opportunity to, you know, leave and not experience the Kiyash sensation. But he wanted to experience the Kiyash sensation. You know, he, he got the Kiyash sensation. And then, you know, I guess the Kiyash sensation was better sensation than what he thought he was going to get. And, honey, he wanted it. And, you know, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So. And, honey, it was one thing after another, so I missed my first one. So, this is going to be my first official one going up on YouTube, okay? Mm -hmm. You may be asking yourself, what is Kiyash Chronicle? Let me tell you, darling, Kiyash Chronicles is a story time while I do my makeup. So, I'm going to be delivering a, a lot of, honey, jokes, honey, realness, honey, ex personal experience, personal problems, personal things for you guys to enjoy, okay? Um, while I do my makeup. It's kind of like Bailey Seria, and she was kind of the inspiration. You, know, you guys like my story time, so, honey, why not incorporate the two? So, yeah, that's what this video is about. I'll give you a little disclaimer, honey. Warning. This video may contain a lot of, honey, comedy. It may contain, honey, honesty. It may contain the realness. It may contain a lot of, honey, a lot of a something, honey. So, your discretion is advised, honey. Watch out, you all red Sonic, okay? I'm going to list everything I use on my face down below. Honey, if you could hear that noise, it's the AC, honey. It is Hot. Got... I'm having a hot flash. You're fine. Seriously, they're starting. And then I got all these lights, honey. Lights, camera, action. All around me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm burning up a little bit. But it's okay, it's all worth it. This story time starts back, 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 back in the day. Um, no, it was not. It was actually not that long ago. It was just a couple of years ago. You know, I was, you know, single at the time. And, you know, when you're single, you, you know, you get bored and when you get bored you start doing things and when you start doing things you look for problems then you know so with that being said i am one day one um night i am on jack jack if you guys do not know is um it's pretty much like a a gay um app that you go you know meet different people you know what i'm saying meet different people from different walks of life Okay, um, a lot of people on there are, are on there for one thing. Some people on there are on there for two things, okay? Um, so, you know, so everybody, you know, on there is on there for whatever they, for whatever their tea is. You know, I was single, so, you know, I'm on there browsing around, honey, you know. When you're at the supermarket, you got to browse around, honey. So, I was looking at different things, honey. Variations of different packages of different food variations okay you understand what i'm saying so you know it was a whole buffet line of men okay uh, so with that being said you know go ahead and i go process profile and it was this guy and i was like okay you know he looked like something different okay he was something different they pride so i was like okay he was something different honey he was he was serving he was serving a different dish honey he was serving a non-typical dish that was served up on there during that particular day. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay. So, so I hit him up. I was like, you know, hey, how are you doing? Very, you know, very loud, very dry, very, okay. I'm good. How are you? Kind of situation. And, you know, he eventually responded. And I was like, okay, great. Start talking. Um, we start talking on there for a little minute. And when I say a little minute, honey, it was a, it was, it was a little, 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 little minute. And, you know, the guy, he was, he seemed cool. But you know how it is. Sometimes, you know, people seem cool, you know, off the rip. And then when you actually meet them, they be crazy and stuff like that. And I always had, um... Thing, always, of, you know, there's always, um... When people are just on there, it's like, okay, honey, I'm on here too, but honey, I don't know you like that. So, you know, some people are just like, oh, yeah, I just met somebody on there. And, you know, they're just like, yay, great. And they go and chill with the person and, you know, just not even know who they are, honey. They just, oh, my God, yeah, I just went ahead and I just met up with them. And, you know, it was 
late and we went to this place and there was nobody around, you know, they're okay with that. And I think if that's what your tea is and you're that bold and that brave, that's great for you. Unfortunately, that's not who I am, honey. I feel like, honey, uh-uh, no ma'am, oh no, sir. Honey, I feel like I gotta like, you know, feel your energy, honey, feel it. I gotta, you know, feel what your energy is giving. I gotta feel your aura, I gotta feel your chakras. I got to text you, I got to call you, I got to talk to you for a couple of days. I got to see, you know, if you're too crazy, if you're crazy enough, you know. It's a whole situation, that, you know, that's why I don't just, you know, up and run and be like, oh yeah, we just met, let's just go up and run and, you know, um, go out. You know, no, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, 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 no. And, you know, this was pre, this was pre-Rona, you know, so I mean, at the end of the day, I ain't dating now, honey. Ooh. In my way. I mean, I know the world is opening up, but girl. So, you know, I've just never been that person. You know, I just feel like I just got to... I have encountered and met a lot of interesting people in my life. And with that being said, it's like, at the end of the day, don't trust nobody. So, that's just me. But if that's what you are into, I do not, I do not advise it. How do you know people are crazy nowadays? But if that's what, you know, if that's what you've done, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody is crazy, clearly, but I'm saying, that, you know, there are a lot of crazies out there, honey, a lot of crazies. So, yeah. So, you know, um, the guy, um, we exchanged phone numbers, honey, and we are, you know, at this point, you know, texting. Um, texting day one. Day one. Texting. So we're texting, you know, a whole day because, you know, you're, you know, somebody new, somebody fresh. It's love like, you know, we're little teenagers. You see what I'm saying? So we are just texting away, you know, very, very that. I was working, thinking it was not like, oh yeah, we could just talk on the phone. No, we cannot. I'm working. So basically when I get out of work, um, you know, we start talking on the phone. You know, com conversation was great. It was just like, you know, very organic, very, um, you know, good, very s smoothly. Um, the conversation went great. Went so well, actually, darling, friend. The conversation went so well that we actually, um... Wait a minute. Did I tell you guys to please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed to this channel? Please consider subscribing. No, I have not said it. If I have said it, honey, and you are subscribed, honey, thank you, baby, okay? Honey, because I completely, I was like, wait a minute, did I say it? I have not done a video in so long, it feels like that. I'm like, honey, I'm out of the loop, honey. Um, but you're back. So yeah, so please subscribe and subscribe. Honey, send me to your friend, honey. Send me to your friend. Send me to your mama. Send me to your grandma. Send me to your grandma. Send me to somebody. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Back to the story. So yeah, so you know, the conversation was so great that we, you know, we were just on the phone for hours, okay? Hours on hours on hours. Like, I got home from work, you know, talking. Talking, talking, talking. We just stayed on the phone the whole time. Of course, with day, night comes, honey. It's the night. So when the night comes, he's, um, you know, Oh, well, um, let's go ahead. Let's meet up. And honey, what I tell you earlier, the crazies. You know, sometimes you don't know who's who. You know what's what. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not the one to do those type of things. And I was like, um, I understand we've been on the phone for all this time, but um, I don't, you know, no ma'am, honey. I don't know you like that yet, honey. No please. And I was like, honey, I was like, you moving a bit too fast, honey. You gotta be worried about the ones that move fast, in my opinion, honey. So, you know, I was like, uh-uh, girl, you moving a bit too fast. You don't even know me and you just wanna meet me. Like, I was like, oh no, girl, like, you know, you already, you know, I just felt like there was, some type of, you know, clinginess disorder there. Um, you know, what is clinginess disorder? Clinginess disorder is when, you know, you meet somebody and they just become clingy. And they're just clingy, like they're just there, honey. Like, how are you? Where you at? You know, oh, 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 you're clingy today. You know what I mean? So that's what this order she, he was giving me. And I was like, Lord, I was like, no, ma'am. I was like, no, ma'am. Like, I was like, I did not like that disorder he was serving. No, ma'am. Like, I was like, um, you know, no, let's not meet up. Let's not meet up. Yeah. Um, you know, it was still early when we was, when we was, you know, earlier in the nighttime. So it was like, you know, like eight o'clock, give you the, the time. 
frame. You know, people are like times. I'm time. And I'm just like. Nah, so he decides, you know, to go ahead and tell me, you know, okay, well, since you don't want to go ahead and chill with me, I decided to keep on talking. Um, you know, throughout the, throughout the re remainder of the night. So as we're talking throughout the remainder of the night, throughout the remainder of the night, um, you know, he again, honey, he comes again, honey, because you know, it's just something about somebody just being persistent, okay? So he comes again. Oh well, you know, all this talking we're still doing. We should be doing it in person. And I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, um, no, oh my God, because, you know, I got that rule, darling. I got the crazy rule. Yash. Um, are you going to break the rule? Are you going to go ahead and go against this and, you know, go ahead and try to meet up with this boy and, you know, don't know what you're getting yourself into. Don't know what's going to happen, honey. You know, you've been speaking to the whole day, honey. But, honey, and I was just like, I don't know. And when I say that, it's to say this. As we're talking on the phone for all this time, okay? He's cool. He's nice. You know, he seems cool. However, there was a little... Um, because, you know, I just felt like he was very, 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 very quick, honey. When I say quick, honey, he was one, two, I'm very quick, okay, honey? What is going on? Be suspicious quick. So he was just like, you know, yeah, I just think, you know... um. You'll be a good, you're a good boy from material. You got potential. And I'm just like, now, nah, wait a minute now. Now, nah, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm just not ready for all of this. It's just. <sighs> I just felt like, I don't know. You just moving a bit too quick, darling. I said, honey, what is, what, what, what's going on, honey? What? What's going on? I just felt like, honey, suspicious going on, honey. There was some suspicious activity. Like, I was just like, you know, why you want to, um, why you. Moving so quick, honey, like, you, we have not even met, and you're already talking about how good of, uh, uh, how much potential I have, and, you know, you've been looking for somebody like me, and all that Honey, stuff. I'm everything. I'm bad, honey. You know, I'm glad, and I'm flattered, darling, but I was just kind of like, girl, you moving a bit fast, baby. Move a bit fast, honey. Take a little slower, darling. Well, you, the slower you take it, the better it be, darling. The more you marinate the meat, the better it tastes, honey, Okay. The more you talk to the plant, the more the plant grows, darling, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, baby, slow down, honey. Slow down, that old do rush. It felt like there was just a whole lot of, honey, whole lot of, whole lot of rush. So, you know, that kind of frightened me. It frightened me. Frightened me. Um, because I was just like, you know, Lord, like, you are going quick, honey, sir. Honey, sir. You're moving fast, honey, sir. Like, you don't know me. You don't know nothing about... I mean, you know enough about me, but, but honey, well, what what all can we really talk about in a day for you to just make the assumption that you just want to be with me? Like, what? Where? When? How? You understand what I'm saying? You know what, sir? Maybe you should, you know, um, relax a little. You know, back up a little. Talk on the phone a couple of days, see where it goes, see what energy I get. Because at that point, the energy was kind of, it was just kind of off. Like, it was not off in the sense of, okay, I don't know what's wrong with you. But it was kind of off in the sense of you moving too fast and I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm just not here for it. I'm sorry, darling. I'm just sorry, darling. Because the faster you go, the slower I'm going to become, honey, okay? Like, camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente, you know what I mean? But damn. And that means the lobster that sleeps, the stream takes them, you know. And I don't know, you can't be too slow, but honey, you were being too quick, honey. You were being too quick and need him, need him, need him, in my opinion. So with that being said, um, mm -hmm, how you doing? How you doing? So with that being said, um, you know, he kept on talking, We, you know, through, and then, you know, he, again, Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. So I said, you know what? Fine. Um, this is already, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four. Five o'clock, ten o'clock, eight o'clock, more than a clock around. We got a clock around the clock tonight when the rock clock fall. Three and four and ten. I'm bum 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 back again. They got a rock, 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 rock. Come on, baby. Oh, shake it, baby. You know what? Well, that song is from a movie, I believe, or or series. However, when I was in school a long time ago. And you know, when you do the plays in school, I actually, you know, was in the play and they had that song and I had to sing it and I, that's how I know it. 
Um, it was amazing. I miss school. Moment of silence for the school. Because I used to say, I can't wait to grow up. But now being a grown up, I'm just like, honey, what was I thinking, honey? My mother used to always say, honey, you don't know what you're talking about, honey. Now I know. I don't know, honey. Because if I could go back, I would, darling. But yeah, let's go back to the story. So, you know, at this point, you know, it's late. It's like, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning, you know, late. Late, late. So he's like, you know, okay, well, um, and the reason why I said okay at this point was because he's like, well, I'm out here at um, Food Depot. Um, if you guys do not know what Food Depot is, Food Depot is a grocery store out here in the southern areas. I don't know exactly, you know, where all they're at. You know, I don't know if it's like, I know up north when I live there, they didn't have no Food Depot. So basically... You know, he was like, well, I'm over here by Food Depot. And I'm like, you know, okay, you know what? You're, 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 you've been talking to me this long. You're so persistent. Let's go ahead. Let's just, um, let's just go. Let's just go and, and let's just chill. Fine. Since you're already out here my way and I've told you don't come and you're still so persistent, you get it in your car. Crazy. So since you're that persistent, and you want to be that extra, um, I guess that I can um, just meet up with you, okay? I'm not even dressed. Like, I didn't even have on my, my attire from work. You know, <laughs> attire, honey. Big words, Kiyosh. Put on um, something real quick. And I was like, you know, first impression is a lasting impression. But what else could I do? You see what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. Let's just go, honey. I'm starting to get ready. I'm just like, okay, well, I'm not going to do too much. I'm not going to put on too much. I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to go ahead, you know, so it's going to be cool. So I'm just like, honey, honey, you ready for this? So I'm just, you know, getting dressed, honey. Getting ready, darling. Getting prepared as he's on the phone. Because, you know, he was not getting off the phone because he just felt like if I get off the phone, you're going to, you know, I'm going to pretend you're not coming and I'm going to be mad. So he just made sure I was on the phone, which... Maybe he's been done that way before, but maybe, you know, he was just been doing a bit much. I don't know. We don't know. So I'm just like, okay, well, at the end of the day, I still got to look like a little something. Like, I'm not going to just go looking like for the first impression, like, oh, I'm going to go at least looking like, oh, okay. I see you tried, but you did not try too hard. You understand, you understand those those kind of wardrobes that it's kind of like you're sitting right, but you're not looking like, okay, I was trying too hard. It's just kind of like that perfect balance. So, you know, it was one of those outfits that I that I decided to choose for this in in encounter. Uh, okay? So, I go ahead and I'm just like, okay, this is cute enough. This is going to work. You know, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Um, you know, I'm going to meet up with him. This is not what I normally do. It's going to be okay, though. It's going to be all right. It's gonna be, you know, he's not, he has not given me, you know, Jeeper Creepers vibes. He just even giving me, you know, cool. Um, and, you know, I feel like, you know, it's cool. Like... You may be all right. You may be, you may be all right. Honey, I go ahead and I, um, you know, got my whole outfit together. At this point, you know, I'm lotioning up. You know, you got to smell good. Aroma is, uh, is important. And I'm just like, okay, honey, like you, you know, you, you, you about to give it and you about to deliver. You know, you good. Honey, I don't know where he says. Silence. He states. Oh, let me move the car because i see some cops here and i'm gonna go into the food deal plaza because this whole time he was not in the plaza he was across the street by a gasoline station that was closed why would he be there i don't know why was he there i still don't know so he's like let me move because i see the cops as soon as he says he says that he starts moving oh he just turned his lights on honey okay we are homosexuals okay we are living in america honey okay but honey times are crazy and times are bad honey so i was kind of like shook i was like oh my god okay well you know um you know you good yeah i'm good are you good good you understand what i'm saying yeah i'm good you know i'm doing those things all right honey you know you said you did it but you know people lie about what they do so you no, i'm good all right boo all right the cops come to the car he's like you know um what are you doing you know whatever uh, what are you doing out here he's like oh um, I'm out here waiting for a friend. That's why I was here. I was gonna move that car. So he's like, um, you know, I pulled you over. Like, sir, how am I gonna know why you pulled me over? Like, excuse me. Like, really? So he's like, no. He's like, oh well, your um, your light, your tag is expired. 
So I was like, oh, he got XY tag. I was like, my head. I was like, I don't know. I was like, that's not a good look, honey. So then he's like, um, do you got anything on you? Oh, I was like, honey. So he's like, no, you know, whatever. So the man is like, you know, get out the car and go and sit in my car. In the back of his car. And he was like, you know, and I'm on the phone with this whole show. It's happening. And I'm on the phone. And I'm just like, low key, high key, in between keys, honey, all the keys and then some, honey. I was like shook. Because I was like, in the back of my head, all I could think about was, I don't know nobody that this boy knows or besides one person that he used to work with. And that person and I knew each other because he liked me at one point, but I ended up trying to talk to this other boy that ended up passing away with sickle cell. That's another story. Um, and then, honey, he was like, that's my man. I was like, well, I went out with your man a couple of times. No, that was impossible. Well, I got receipts. So. Do you want me to bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, oh, baby girl? Because oh, I got receipts. Oh, you know one of those situations. Um, R.I.P. And I'm like, oh my God, like, what do I do? Honey? So this is early. Like, I'm saying again, you, you heard the time, honey. One in the morning, two in the morning. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it was probably very suspicious for 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 somebody to just be at a closed gasoline station, honey. It's probably was suspicious. You know, you were actually at, you know, the, um, if you were actually at the, the Food Depot, because it was closed, you know, so it was all kind of suspicious, I'm assuming, you know. So I get that part. So, honey, the man, you know, is like, you know, searching the guy's car, searching, searching, searching. And I, all that you could hear is like, you know, stu you know, stuff being um, moved around in the car. And I'm just like, oh my God, like. What the? What in the? Uh -uh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You know, and he just goes ahead and it's just like, all you hear is all of that. And I'm just like panicking, like, okay, do I say something? But I'm like, okay, if he has something, I say something part of it, you know, shot something. I'm going to be part of it. So I was like, okay, I should probably just hang up. But then I'm like, if I hang up, I'm still part of this case. Because at the end of the day, you know, he was still, you know, pretty much on the phone with me. So when they traced a the call, they're going to simply say, you know, that he was on the phone with me. So I was like, you know what? I'm scared. I was like, okay, well, you know what? That's not smart. So let's not do that. Let's not go down that route. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well, that's not going to work. So, you know, let me just stay on the phone. I said, you know, maybe, you know, um, he's going to come back to the car. Then I was like, you know, so as the time is ticking, darling. Every minute felt like an hour. Okay, so this went on for, it felt like forever in my head. Just like paranoid. I'm like, okay, like, what do I do? What do I say? Do I say something or whatever? So out of nowhere, the phone just blew. And when I say he was looking that, it was, he was looking, looking. And I was like, oh my God. My heart just sunk. I was just like, you know what? I said, this may be his end, honey. I said, I don't know what's happening. Who do I call? What do I do? I don't know his mother's number. I don't even know where the boy lives. Cause honey, like I said, we don't know each other like that. So I'm just like, oh, in the inside. I was just shook. I was like, this is just craziness. I don't know what to do. So I'm just like, you know, the whole night, I'm just up. Honey, I'm just up, 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 up. Because I'm just like, I just can't believe it. Like, this is just crazy. So in my head, I was like, you know, maybe he he had more than what he was saying. You know, maybe, you know, maybe he, you know, had knives or, you know, maybe he had a, you know, <laughs> or something, you know. I'm just sticking all this stuff. And I was like, you know, maybe he didn't have nothing. You know, maybe just because he was gay, you know. You know. Then I was like, no, maybe, you know, God was trying to protect me. Because, you know, this man, you know, um, is clearly going to jail. Or getting locked up. So clearly something is wrong, honey. And I just felt like maybe I was just saved. Maybe I was just was saved by something. That's what I was thinking. But then I also was thinking, too, you know, the way it was going. I was like, you know. This man also did say he don't got nothing and, you know, that he don't, you know, do none of those things. So, you know, he was probably good. So, it was just like a whole, the whole night going back and forth. Like, hey, like, this is just crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. In the morning, he's going to check the news, you know. um, If something happens, you know, I'm going to have to go ahead and, you know, and I'm going to be part of this case. Honey, that's what you know you watch too much crime movies and TV shows. Okay, because I was like, honey, it was a case in my head already. Honey, I created a whole OJ system trial in my head, honey. 
I just knew her, you know, the morning time comes, early morning. I'm like, you know, not sl have not slept at all, honey. Oh, uh, uh. I get a phone call, honey, from who the boy? Oh, hey. I was like, oh my God, what happened? So what ended up happening was, the guy license plate was expired, um, tag was expired because the boyfriend, he gave him the money, to, the ex-boyfriend, he gave him the money to do it. He never did it. So the license plate was expired. Or whatever. So he was like, you know, that basically... And like the girl that was working there was like, you know, what you were here for? He was like, you know, well, um, my license, I mean, my tag, you know, was um, expired or whatever. So she was like, well, you don't go to jail for this. She was like, so, you know, she basically let him go. And he, you know, whatever. So I was just like, okay. Are you suing, honey? Let me know. Are you suing? You you need, you know, some type of, you know, okay, yeah, I heard I was around, you know. What what we doing, honey? Because I was like, honey, this is just racial profiling or whatever the case may be. Like... You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, I was like, this is just crazy. Like, I was like, you know, my nerves bad. My nerves are shot. I was like, you know, I, was, I didn't know what was happening. I did not know you were going to be okay. You were going to be all right. You were not going to be okay. You would, you know, I did not know nothing. And I said the suspense was killing me. And it was just a nightmare on Elm Street for me. And I just couldn't do it. Okay? So, I just knew in my heart he was going to sue. Because I was ready, honey. Who? Oh. I was ready for that carnage. I was ready, honey. We played around with the idea. He didn't sue. Um, so, you know, that was pretty much why he went to jail because of that. And the lady told him that, you know, you don't go, you don't um, go in jail for that. So, you know, they pretty much just let him go, which was great. But it was scary because, again, honey, in the, in the, in the society we live in, honey, you, you know, it's just crazy. I was very glad that, you know, he was all right. I don't know why you put too much, honey. But I was just, you know, pretty much just glad that he was all right. He was okay. You see what I'm saying? That could have just turned out just crazy. He still wanted to hang out. Mind you, he just got out of jail that day. That day. So at that point, it was kind of like, you know, I kind of owed it to him because, you know, he kind of got locked up because of me. So he was like, you know, well, what you doing tonight? And I was like, you know, I guess. Take it with you, honey. Like, why not? <laughs> um, you know, you went to jail, honey. So I guess that the the least thing I could do or the nicest thing I could do is, you know, finally hang with you. So we went ahead and, you know, we actually hung out that day that he got out, which was the following day. So actually day two, we ended up, you know, chilling and hanging out. I don't know. I have no idea why I can't be great. Like, I was just recording and talking. And then when I realized the camera was not recording, but... Fortunately enough, all I did was a little contour, a little foundation. Okay, let's get back to the story. But yes, oh yes. He got, he he did get out, which was amazing. Like I was saying, he did get out, which I was happy about that. Um, I still think that he probably should have sued. Okay. Um, he did not. He just said, you know, at the end of the day, you know, just let it be. It is what it is. Um, we um, did become very cool after the fact. You know, I don't feel that just because you don't date somebody don't mean they're a bad person, you know, or just because y'all did not mesh in that way does not necessarily mean, you know, that you should not be cool with that person. So me and him ended up becoming um cool, very cool. And we, you know, ended up building on another type of relationship. We did try to make it, you know, you know, whatever, but you know, that was that. So I'm still, I still think that it's a little scary, you know, with, um, with the, um, crazy people. Um, I think that, you know, it's still crazy. So I don't advise anybody to just meet up with people like that. I think, you know, you should be in an open environment, open space. It's, it's important to be safe at all times, all times. Okay. I think safety is number one at any occasion. So I definitely feel like, you know, it's important. So with that being said, I'm glad that me and him actually were able to become, you know, really good friends. I'll come. Oh, uh, hold on. Cause this is a lot. And it is crazy cause that was actually his first time ever being in jail. And I cannot imagine. That was so scary. But yeah, I just felt like he was just moving too fast. I was like, nah, wait a minute, honey. Like, 
You know, I understand you like what you're seeing, and I understand, you know, I'm selling a good dream, and I understand, you know, the packaging that I'm delivering to you in the front door looks very good and all that stuff, and it's cute, and it's amazing, and I'm glad, but, honey, you move too hard for me, honey. Then when I want to move fast and, you know, move, you know, and evolve the situation, oh, no, I don't want to evolve it, like, girl. But yeah, you guys, I think that it's very important to be safe, like I said, at all times. So, honey, no matter where you are, where, where you at, be safe. Don't just be, honey, I, I don't care. Like, I, I just, that's just not me. Never been me to just up and meet up with people like that. It's like, honey, this is, this is too much, honey. Too much for me. I understand some people are free spirited like that, but honey, I must not be a free spirit, honey. I'm a trap spirit. <laughs> I must be a trap spirit, honey, because I can't do it, honey. I can't do it. Why well, did apply like this? Maybe because I want my face. Maybe this is not good like that because it's wet. I don't think so. Yes, and this one's some crazy stuff. Mm hmm. There you go. If you guys know me, you know I don't mess with the cops. I'm scared, honey. I'll be scared. I'll be acting I, like when I see the cops, I feel like I'm just <laughs> driving around with like ounces of ounces and ounces and ounces and ounces of nerves, okay? <laughs> because I'll be so nervous. It just be ridiculous. Like, honey, and don't let the little blue light start flashing, good friend. Because when the blue light start flashing, my heart start pulsing, darling. It is crazy. I'll be so nervous. It's like I have something on me. That's how nervous I'll be. I'll be beyond nervous, honey. Do you be scared too, like, when you see the cops? Because I know I can't be the only one that's scared, honey. I can't be the only one that's scared, honey. I refuse to think I'm the only one to think I'm the only one that's that scary. It'd be scary, be crazy for me. Like, I just don't do it. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that, you know, at least my experience with him was, you know, he got out of jail without having to pay no money. Um, you know, he did not get beat up in jail because honey, that's crazy. I'm glad that, you know, me and him were actually able to become really good friends out of the whole situation. Please be careful when you go out to meet these people. If you, you know, please, because, you know, every situation is not the same, honey. And I got, I got stories for days, darling, okay? I got stories, darling. I got stories upon stories. Stories upon stories upon stories upon stories of situations that I've been in. Side note, I wish I, I wish my vision was better. So I don't have I wouldn't have all, the mirror all up in my face like this. But unfortunately it's not the best. So I'm sorry. To put these magnetic ones with the magnetic liner application thingy majiggy, it actually works really, really, really well. And I just put her on top and you just good. Now, I don't know how well she reacts to wind or, you know, crazier activities. But as far as just like a quick put on and go, she all right with me. Like, the world is crazy and the world is cruel. And the world is, you know, we all know the world is just out there. So I think that it's very important to try to take care of ourselves and be as safe as possible. So I still do not advise to just meet people that quickly. Um, I'm glad that in that situation, I was able to, you know, it went the way it did. And I'm glad that, you know, me and him became actually really good friends. Every situation, every experience is different. Not everybody on social media is crazy, clearly. And, you know, I know that not everybody's crazy, but honey, there's a lot of, there are a lot of them though. There are a lot. And that's all, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, nowadays, you know, me and him are actually cool. He actually met my boyfriend. We actually went ahead and actually, um hung out we've he actually is in a relationship now so, which is great and they had an amazing outcome the story did have an amazing outcome um it was not crazy um you know like it could have been but yes i think it was just crazy and just horrible the fact that he ended up getting locked up to deal with that over something that was not something he was supposed to go to jail for you understand what i'm saying so i just think that was just like the whole thing was just crazy but yeah um i'm glad that the outcome was me and him became friends and really good friends 
And yeah, um, that's the situation with that. So yeah, this is the first Kiosh Chronicles. So let me know what you guys think about it. Hopefully the next one goes a little bit smoother. So yes, you guys, I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the, the story and all that stuff. And stay tuned because I'm going to, honey, we're going to make this a thing. We're going to bring up more Kiosh Chronicles. Share this video, like this video, thumbs up this video. Leave all my social media down below. Love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.